Welcome to another Alpha Magnus review. Uh, today we've got this. This is the Cobra Crimson Viper. I only ordered one because I'm being responsible. That and uh, all of the Crimson uh, Guard are now at Ollie's for $5, but not a single Ollie's nearby me. I've been to 20. And all they have is the stupid movie verse, so I think that was a lie. I've seen a few people that have found them but not in Ohio. <laughs> so I did bring out the only uh, Viper uh, that I have uh, currently out. Uh, that is the, the uh, what is this stupid thing called? Python Patrol Viper that refuses to stand up. Um, please give us stands. Uh, so let's get this guy out of the box. Uh, we do have this on the side, that on the top. Uh, this is a little bit different of a box than usual. Pretty cool, but whatever. These, I believe, were just available at regular retail. And I think I got this one from Hasbro Pulse. I uh, might be wrong on that. If I am, I'm sorry. I do like the Crimson Guard. I do think that they are pretty cool. But, um, whatever. They is what they is. So here we go. Uh, this does not have the rope, so hope you've been saving your rope because looks like the figures are starting to come with plastic again. Which, honestly, is kind of a bummer because it's kind of cool to have that rope sitting around. Eh. So there we go. Uh, there's a little picture of him being all cool. Uh, Color-wise... It's pretty drab. It's Crimson Guard. Uh, that's why I said I was only going to order one. Because I really did not need uh, a bunch. Did not need a bunch of these guys. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh. <laughs> There's a Crimson Viper, number 85. I can't believe I own this many. Uh, I don't have all of them. I have, I have pulled back considerably. I'm buying these. I was buying multiples of all of them. I think I hit a wall. And I'm only getting the ones that I like now. So I was, I actually canceled. I got a, I got the Night Force Big Ben here, which I still need to review. Um, and then the place where I kept it got flooded, and I just decided to throw out all those boxes uh, before I could even get a, a, a thing done on them. So now... Uh, he, he does have just the, the white people, uh, skin tone underneath, which I find it weird to begin with, um, that they even do that. Like, why not have these be able to swap out easily? Like, it's literally just one little plate piece of plastic. They could literally just sell that with another pack. Just a neck pack. I don't know. So, uh, he does come with this, and this makes it even funnier. He comes with a... <laughs> a scarf, which covers up even more. Um, uh, gray weapons, pistola, right there. And then uh, the goggles, which I guess you need goggles for a, uh, a helmet for some reason. I don't know. I didn't design the originals, and I don't think the Hasbro people know either. Uh, and here's his, it's a pretty basic backpack. The Cobra symbol isn't even painted in. I feel like this, this was a phone in just because they knew that they could just make it look like the retro styled one. And that's really where the, uh, the G.I. Joe classified line is, um, failing me. I don't know, while I try to get this on, I'll explain that. So, um... The original idea of Classified was that it was bringing the G.I. Joe line into a new era, but the most vocal of G1ers, we'll call them, just like Transformer people, um, they got to have everything look like it did back in the 80s, or they're going to freak. And they freaked, because it did not look like it did back in the 80s, and now we're getting our classified line is now being slowly turned into a retro line while there are already retro lines in, in effect. Um, the, the, the retro line for, um, what do you call it? 
the Walmart retro line, which is no longer a retro line for Walmart, luckily. That's amazing that, we, that they got rid of that. But um, the retro carded figures are even more retro. So we made our mainline retro or er, but then we made ones that are even more retro. And then, and then get this, we're going to re-release them and make them more retro. We're going to take away articulation or something. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, just, just let it be. I liked the weird colors of the first wave. I liked the gold. I liked all that. It was fun. It was different. It wasn't this mold again going to get canceled in, in, in a week because we... We just got to have it the way it used to be. Sorry, I'm really, I'm really sore about it. Because this is kind of boring. There's no color to this. It's just another red dude. He's got a little bit of blue there. Like, the, he, he could, I'm, I might paint it myself. Um, but, like, the, the first line was, like, like, really, really good. I mean, look at, look at this dude. Even the Python Patrol guy is still slavishly, slavish? To uh, to that, but the real the real barometer barometer is is the backpack. So this backpack doesn't. Neither of these have really anything painted. That first first backpack, which of course I don't have here, uh, was much much nicer. Um, just kind of a bummer. I I get it. I get that that people want to have what what they want to have. But man, that that first that first wave was really really something different. Um, mind you, head sculpts wise, whatever. Um, but it was different and it, it mattered to me. Um, with any luck, we might, what is this ad going on back there? Um, with any luck, we might have, um, have that come back. We might have that come back. Um, cause they've now released, um, to compete with Valiverse, um, military spec, uh, GI Joes. They're literally just called Joe guy or something like that. So those are going to come out and they're going to be even more GI Joe related. So, uh, sorry about that <laughs> phone call. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just ridiculous that with it, that, because a whole bunch of people were whining about it. Now these are all boring. Oh, it's boring. It fit what it needed to. Uh, if you look at him, he looks he looks like uh, Big Ben. He's still kind of boring. At least I think this one. No, this yeah he's got a Joe Pro. At least it's it's hidden back here. But at least they started putting those back on the Joes, which was one of my biggest issues. So whatever. Uh, if you agree with me, comment below. If you disagree with me, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. Just whatever. It's just, uh, it just seems like we had a really good thing going for a while. And then, uh, a couple bad seeds jumped in and said, I don't like that. It doesn't look exactly like the original toy. And then now we got to move back and, and it's 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 it, the thing is is that it's a constant it's the same people it's like the same three people are complaining about it and they just complain until they get their way and it, it's kind of annoying one thing i will say is that this this vest is way tighter than the last one was or if they redid it or something or it's just because it's red it does that i still like it it's okay it's going to go well on my shelf. Really glad I didn't order like six of these, though, because um, I was going kind of nutty on, on the first few waves. Stands. Hasbro. These need stands. You cannot have these stand without it. They literally just fall over in a second. The only reason those guys haven't fallen over is because I have them leaned up against the TV. Stands. It, it's like a nickel extra. Please. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are boring. <laughs>